Hey guys, so today I'm here with a review of Keychain for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. And what Keychain is all about is it allows you to keep all kinds of your various information on your phone, or of course your iPod, or whatever device you have, but it allows you to keep all kinds of information nice and secure on your device. So this can include, you know, uh, simple things like website passwords and usernames, phone numbers, um, and a wide variety of different things. I mean, pretty much anything you want to put in here. So go ahead and open it up. First thing, of course, uh, once you set it up, it'll allow you to put a passcode. So even doesn't matter if somebody grabbed a hold of your phone. As soon as you exit out of the app, so actually, in fact, let me open it up and show you guys. If I, this has got a really simple passcode, but if I exit out of the app and try to open it again, it wants my password right back. So you don't really have to worry too much as long as you have a decent password that's not 0000. Uh, so here's the interface. Now, there are a few things I can show you here. Um, so for example, we can create, actually, let me go ahead and just open it up and show you guys some of the information that you can add. So, for example, if you want to do an account number, uh, so, for example, let's say your YouTube, so if you're, you know, you want to remember your YouTube password or whatever, you put YouTube, then your username and password. Uh, same goes for numbers, so if you want to put a phone number or, indeed, any kind of number that you really want to remember. Uh, there's other, which just basically allows you to put, you know, anything. You can put a title in different types of text, so, you know, notes or pretty much anything you want to do there. Of course, you can also create a category, which I've done out here. Basically, if you click on the category, it allows you to, you know, go in, kind of like a folder, I suppose. Uh, so, there are a couple of different things here, as you guys can see here. This is just a generic thing where I just put some uh, text in here. And if you want to tap on it, in fact, you can tap on any of these, we'll go ahead and kind of cover them up if, you know, if you don't want somebody sitting beside you, you don't want them to see. Um, so let's say we actually want to uh, edit this so I can just hold on for a second or rather hold on for a second here and you guys can see here I can go ahead and copy the first line or second line so you know if I uh, needing to log into a website I can do that really simply I can view the code or I can modify now let me show you guys the code and this is pretty cool so actually let me back up and show you guys on the phone number here so it's just a standard looking phone number and if I hold down and view code I can go ahead and view it as a QR code so somebody could scan that as well as a barcode now this is really helpful for a lot of different reasons of course you can just have all this stuff not only just you know just say okay my numbers Late, late, or you know, I hope you guys get the joke, but uh, you can find the phone numbers, but you can also do it like that. And same goes for pretty much anything you want to do. You can go ahead and copy, modify, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, now, there are a couple of options here if I want to open up here. Uh, you can turn on and off sounds, passcode lock, which you'll definitely want to turn on. Uh, there's also the lock button where you can go ahead and just toggle the passcode or toggle hiding. And um, you can also do recovery. So, if I want to open this up here you guys can see that you can turn on and off recovery and what this will allow you to do is save a backup so in fact if I want to go ahead and tap that right now let's say backup generated and so when I go ahead and sync this next to iTunes it will back up all my stuff so it's all going to be encrypted so I don't really have to worry and of course I can also restore from a backup if you know anything ever happens if have any problems and of course there's options where you can go ahead and just require a separate passcode or rather a password for your uh, encryption and whatnot. Uh, so guys that's about it and of course if you want to you can just tap the button really quickly here and lock it up and exit the app and you're going to be good to go. Keychain is currently on sale right now for 99 cents in the app store so if you guys are interested in picking it up I definitely recommend to do so. Uh, it's a really sleek app it allows you to keep all your stuff uh, you know nice and safe and you can do a lot of stuff with it so I definitely want to give big props to my friend Joe Gass who was able to who's the developer rather of this application. Uh, him and Jonah did a great job with it and so if you guys are interested definitely be sure to take a look at it.